hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to do a little tutorial on how to edit your image before sending it to your flash so that you can be able to print it on your canon selfie cp 1000 i know sometimes whenever you send an image to your flash it will be telling you no image found or make sure your flash contains an image today we are going to solve that problem easily using two apps there are other apps you can use but um, the ones that are very easy and uh, do not require premium or maybe monthly payments all you just need to do is just you know watch a video and then you are good to go so but before we delve into the main topic i would like to thank all my subscribers <clears throat> our youtube channel has just been monetized as you can see on the screenshot uh, it has just been monetized so we want to use this opportunity to thank all our subscribers for their time in watching our videos their subscription just want to thank you because we know we couldn't we cannot do it without you so let's move to the topic of the day so the first thing you need to do is to go to play store if you are using an android phone and then if you are using an ios phone like an apple phone you can go to ios store but what i'm using now is an android phone so you go to play store and search for this particular app this is the first app remember i told you i'm going to show you how to edit image using two different apps this is the first one so as you can see it's already installed on my phone if you have not installed it do well to install it then the next thing i'm going to do is to open it it's very easy to use as you can see you can see all the countries here yeah, that is why i recommend this app you will see all countries here yeah. there is no country in the world that you can't find in this app because one thing you need to know about passports as the country changes so as the size changes sizes resolution color of background so many things it is not always the same for all countries so for the purpose of this video i'm going to use nigeria um so first of all you are there are two ways to pick your video um you can decide to snap the image directly using a camera as you can see down and then you can decide to pick an image from your gallery so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to pick an image from my gallery you know to save us some time so you go gallery you select the image i just want to select one particular image i can use here um let me just see which image i'm going to use okay let me use this image so as you can see he's asking if i can if i should remove the background i can decide to use remove the background and i can decide to leave it like that if you want to remove the background you can just one tap but it will it will take time using this app the second app i'm going to explain to you uses ai to remove the background but this one requires like a manual removal of the background so um you can use uh, let me just i want to remove all the background to save us time let me just show you how to use it mm. you can use auto fill this fill and yeah, here is showing you how to use it i understand and then you click remove and then you see 
you see what is happening and then you click yes and then uh, you can also use magic one still click i understand as you can see sorry sorry about that then you can also increase the size of your brush and the threshold using this arrow this orange arrow i'm using here and as you can see the background i'm cleaning see the way i'm cleaning it like i said i will not be able to do all of it it's just to show you how they do it um to go back because it's touching my face and uh, uh -huh. so and that is that for that then the next thing you do is to save it hmm? then over here you can select which color of background you want whether you want white this or blue as you can see red you can even come here to to choose a customized color and let's just go with white mm -hmm. and then uh, the smoothness you can also increase the smoothness the smoothness yes refers to as you can see at the top my head where the head is you can see the edges are rough you can decide to smoothen it but because we did not uh, finish the background it will be difficult to smooth it you can decide to smooth it from here or leave it this way so most times it is recommended you smooth it and then you click done uh, I will just wait for the app to load okay okay and then when you are done doing that uh, you can just click done um we'll go back a little there is one more step we did not take let's just go back uh, i told you we are going to watch our uh, ad coming the step here is to change it you remember don't put it on pnd png you have to use jpeg so you switch it here to jpeg don't use png use jpeg use jpeg and then you reduce the size you see where the size is it's point anything kb is okay it will be accepted by canon cp 1000 or any canon product anything kb anything kilobyte will be okay as long as it's not in megabytes just leave it in JPEG, reduce it, reduce the size. You see how I'm increasing the size, 1.87 large, but it's always advisable to reduce the size to kilobyte. Any size in kilobyte will do, as long as it's Canon CP1000 or any Canon product. And then you save. So with that, we have concluded the for uh, this tutorial for this app, and then you can go to your folder, look for the photo you have edited. Yeah. So guys, so with that, you go to your folder, look for the passport or the image you have edited. When by folder, I mean the folder from your phone and how do you get that you need to go to your file manager this is my file manager this is my file manager um coming then from here you can decide to send it to your flash that is that for this app then we are now going to use the second app the second app here is a uh, you go to your play store again this is the second app photo room photo room hmm so it's asking for update so don't need to. like i said before go to your play store or ios store make sure you download 
the app photo room and then uh, let's open it uh, so the next thing you're going to do is to select the photo you are going to edit like i said before this particular app uses ai to remove the background and um, it is not for passport editing but you can use it for passport editing this is actually an app for marketing tools for people that are marketing things online you know then let's start from here you click start you select the image you want now i'm going to use the image we used in the previous app which is this and then as you can see it has edited and removed the background by itself and then you can select different colors here as you can see you can decide to make it black and white as you can see look at the background but usually i use this for whites normally so we select white there are black there are transparent just select the one that you want and then that's it because this is an AI app, it is very, very fast, very, very easy, and doesn't require ad, and it's free. No premium, no nothing. Do there is an option for you to upgrade to Pro, but with the free version, you can do whatever you want to do, as long as it's just passport you want to use it for, or you just want to edit your image to send it to Flash, so that it can be accepted by your Canon CP1000 or any Canon machine of your choice. So from here, you can export it, maybe later. You can export it and save it to your device. As you can see by the left, it says save to gallery. Once you click save, it's done. And then the next thing you go to your folder and send it to your flash and then you are good to go okay guys that's all for today thank you for joining us if you have not subscribed please do well to subscribe on our channel we really appreciate